about the bat. I put a few surprises along the way if he decides to turn up and spoil the fun. Oh, and if you hear a shot in the dark, don't worry. There's very little chance of you getting hurt. It's the bat. I'm still. I want to check your health insurance. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You don't have any. Snipers. Looks like the Blackgate thugs have access to the armory. your face into the ground!
Remember to keep an eye open for any flying rodents during your duties. I hear the asylum suffers from infestations from time to time. Interview 17, Joker remains uncooperative. My earlier diagnosis remains true. I believe he enjoys his persona too much. What's up, Doc? Today I thought we'd try something different. Oh, you make me blush, Doc. I have a girlfriend. Dr. Quinzel, I know. I've seen the tapes. I saw what happened. What can I say? I'm a charmer. Anyway, I thought it would be good to talk about your childhood. Oh, ever heard of romance, Doc? I don't give up the goods for free. You'll have to try harder. What are you hiding? Didn't you hear me? You scratch my back, Doc, and, well, I won't have you wrapped in plastic and left in a gutter. Agent Cuts. Isn't it? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Any available psycho, killers, maimers, and murderers that are not yet in the old mansion? Do it before I lead you to the man himself! As Gotham's veins slowly filled with pain and suffering, the effects were felt everywhere. My father fell first. Infected by some foul disease. My mother lived on, but only in a dream. I returned to the family home to care for her, where she remained in her bed for as long as her body continued to breathe. Her tears kept me awake at night. My journey lasted little over a month. Visiting academics in both Metropolis and Keystone, I was exposed to a wealth of new ideas. I began my day returning home in good spirits, eager to see my wife and family. I ended it kneeling in their blood, broken fragments of my life, pouring through dripping red fingers.
trophy was a test. Well done. You passed the elementary grade. Hello again, boys. It's me. Please remember to take good care of all our hostages. They're no good to us dead. However, a bruise here or a cut there won't go miss. Look who it is. Yeah, big bad Batman. Come on, tough guy. Come and get us. Oh, look at him. Stuck out there. Ain't you got a cat to rescue from a tree or something? <laughs> That's right. Go on, get lost. We're in control. I can't believe Batman just left. He 
I returned to my work, but I could not shake the pictures from my mind. I should have been repulsed, but I was more eager than ever to find an explanation for why someone would do this. those notes before Joker does.
patient interview one, the patient would refer to me after the incident with Dr. Murphy. He appears to have suffered a breakdown of sorts. I believe it was brought about after the loss of his wife and child. As yet, the patient has been unable to speak. Continued observation shows little mental activity. It's as if the shock of what he saw triggered his mental collapse. There's someone in here! Tim, we found him! Break down the door! Note to self, as ever, it is difficult to continue my research under such conditions. Step away from Dr. Cole! Now! Get down on the ground! We found them. Someone get a medic. 